Hi, this is Doc Severson for the Theonite Report for Tuesday, November 29th. Over the last two or three weeks, we've seen a massive rotation from assets going from one class to another, almost to the point where the rubber band is stretched just a little too far. So obviously, this is a very critical point for what happens next. So with that, I'd like to talk about two concepts. One is range expansion, range contraction. Okay, range expansion, range contraction means that this is the way that price moves. Price consolidates, range contraction to the point where it builds up a lot of energy. I'm looking at the yellow line here, the embedded fractal on this indicator, to the point where it's almost like it, the pressure is built up so far that it has to move. And that's where range expansion takes over. But range expansion can't go forever, right? So there's a limit on everything. So when it gets to the point of linearity, where it's just so buried like this, we move into the next range contraction. So price generally, with just about every asset that I can think of, goes between these cycles of range contraction to range expansion to range contraction. This is why you always find that people find these moves, these explosive moves, literally come out of nowhere because everybody has stopped looking for them, right? And it's just, you can think of this as the spring being wound up like this tighter and tighter and tighter before it finally explodes out of your hand. And this is where we get the movement. This is where all the potential energy is built up. This is where it's converted into, for effect, kinetic energy into movement. And it just goes back and forth, back and forth between these states. We can see this on the monthly time frame. We can see this over here on the weekly. We can even see this on the daily or even intraday if we wanted to. So what we've seen over the course of the last couple of weeks has been extreme range expansion on just about every asset that you can manage to, to make. And we're finding that we're at the limits of how far these things can go. So... What we need to do is to look across the asset classes and look at see which ones of these are kind of at the limit of range expansion and are ready to go into range contraction. And the second point that I want to bring up is therefore character. When the price expands like this and into exhaustion, it can do one of a couple of different things. First of all, it can basically just go sideways into a little range like this. So when we see stocks that are just gone explosive to the upside, if they actually consolidate within a very tight little range like this, this is actually extremely positive if the price is going higher. This is extremely positive for further high prices. If, on the other hand, the price just kind of lazily pulls back like this, this is not so good for ultimately higher prices for that asset. So this is what we're going to watch for. We're going to watch for a character of this consolidation, which should start happening across many of these asset classes that have gone so explosive in the last couple of weeks. So looking here at the dollar, we can see that we have had the dollar basically for the last couple of years just winding up and winding up and winding up and building a tremendous amount of potential energy here. So this is going to swamp everything else right now, is that this dollar more than likely is heading higher in the short term. So you can see this big consolidation pattern on the weekly chart. Unfortunately, it's not gonna get all there at once. What we're showing is kind of the limit of linearity to this move to the top on not only the weekly chart, but also the daily chart. So there's a high probability that on the dollar, we're gonna see this consolidate here. And again, we're gonna watch that consolidation to see what kind of character that consolidation has. Is it gonna be very tight and coiled, or is it gonna be kind of loose and sloppy and really pull back hard to the downside. Okay, here's the 10-year note. So this uh, pretty much illustrates what the interest rates are going to be. Right now it's sitting at about 2.3%, but it's also hit the limits of linearity to the upside on the weekly chart. So we would expect to see a little bit of a stall here. And again, we're going to watch for that character on the 10-year note to see whether or not it's going to stay in this tight little range here for a few weeks or whether it's really going to pull back hard. So we're also going to see that on a little bit larger basis on the daily chart as well too. On the S&P 500, again the bigger picture here, the S&P 500, is that we have spent the last two years building up energy and it's starting to break higher for right now. So don't look now, but this had the same effect as a full correction. 
Okay, we do not have exhaustion on the weekly chart right now, although we do on the daily chart. The daily chart might need a little bit of a pause. And so again, we're going to watch this area right above 2200 to see if it coils in a very tight fashion there. Ultimately, if it does, that is more market positive than anything else for equities. I'm going to finish up here tonight with the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000, again, has been coiling for a long time. But this move that it's recently put on is just epic. And now we're seeing exhaustion on not only the weekly, but also the daily. And so what I would expect to see in the short term on the Russell is a little bit of sanity returning to the Russell. This has just been an enormous move. But this is going to take an extended consolidation, if not, Right, So it's either going to have to go sideways for quite some time or it's going to have to outright just pull back pretty hard down here on the Russell. I would expect to see 1300 hold a support for the meantime. But again, the tighter and more narrow that consolidation range is on the Russell, ultimately that will create the more bullish pattern. So again, for all of these asset classes, regardless, obviously we can't go over every one tonight, but for all these asset classes out there, look at the exhaustion of the move, right? Range expansion is going to lead to range contraction of some type. So from there, watch the type of range contraction that it has. The character has everything to do with how it's likely to move forward from there. That is it for tonight's report. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.